morning everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm going to attempt what I have been warned may be one of the hardest puzzles in um, Quads on Parade. This is Aboard the Pre-Quad by Jeremy Dover, and some of the testers have taken a very long time on this puzzle, some of them close to two hours, so... I'm going to be very interested to see how I go. Now, I've been solving a lot of quads puzzles, so um, I may have a bit of a legs up. Um, I've also been given a small hint, but I don't want to... I want to see if I need it. Um, I, I will I'll see how I go. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I, I've got the hint, um, and we'll see how we go. So, um, of course, I, I don't need to, this is going to come late in the pack, so I don't need to tell you that I'm recording these out of order and blah, and blah, and blah. So let's just get to the puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every, every box, it's freezing cold here and my hands are still cold. In every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have quadruples. So around these quadruple circles, the digits that are in the circle must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that circle. And then we've got killers. So digits in killer cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage um, if given. So um, and so these will sum to 19, these will sum to 10, these will sum to 8. We've got a trick for being able to put offset totals in cages, which I think works quite well. Now with these cages, there's no total given, but what we know is, for example, that digit and that digit will be different, that digit and that digit will be different, but we don't know the sum of these. Now I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Of course, links below to the pack and the puzzle and all of that good stuff. Now. So there's the standard quad trick, which is telling me that one and two are not in any of these cells. But all I know is one and two are not in any of those cells. And I can see that three and four are not in any of those. Now, uh, thing is, I know there is a one in an eight cage. So, because the eight cage is either one, two, five or one, three, four. And the reason I can say that is because if you don't put a one in an eight cage, the minimum is two, three, four and two, three, four sums to nine. So there is a one in an eight cage. But this one is, this quad, all of these quads are on a boundary. So they're not really, well, I know these digits are one, two, three, and seven. There's not a lot of quads or cages in this. This is a really minimalist puzzle. Well, I could see something going on here because this is four different digits, but I can eliminate four digits from it. So let's do it this way. This is a terrible way of doing it, but there are nine possible digits that have to go into these four cells, but I can't repeat digits. One and two comes out because I can't put one or two in because of these quadruples, meaning I can, because the two, two, two ones and the two twos for these rows are taken up by those quads. But in these columns, the sixes and the sevens are taken up. So I can take six, seven out of here. So these are from three, four, five, eight, nine. Do the other cages work the same? Because I can't put one, two in here. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I can't put eight or nine in it. So there's no eight or nine in here. This is from three, four, five, six, seven. But only one of these can have a three. And only one of them can have a four. Wait a minute. So only one of them can have a three. Only one of them can have a four. So... If I put the three in here, there's no three here. This becomes four, five, six, seven, eight. But if I make this four, five, six, seven, eight, this can't have a four. These are quadruples. So there's a quadruple here. There's a quadruple here. There's a quadruple here. And there's a quadruple here. The cage makes this an effective quadruple, but I don't know what the quadruple is. So does that mean these cells are restricted? 
So what can go in those cells? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it can't be one or two because the one or the two is knocked out by these quadruples by default. Now, if I was to put a three in here, that's broken. Because if I put a three in here, there's a three here, there's a three here. Then this would be four, five, eight, nine. This would be four, five, six, seven. And there's no four for here. So there's no three here. If I put a, because we can treat these as quads. Now, if I put a four here, this is three, five, eight, nine. This is three, five, six, seven. And there's no three here. There's no four here. This is insane. If I put a five here, that works because, right, there's, because there's no five in these quads, I can put five here, no problem. Six would be fine because if I could put six here, because there's no six in these quads, seven here would make this three, four, five, six. Seven here might work because seven here makes this three, four, five, six, which makes this four, five, eight, nine. No, it doesn't. If I put seven here, this becomes three, four, five, six. Because there's a three here, this then becomes four, five, eight, nine. This is three, four, five, six. This is four, five, eight, nine. I've used two fours and there's no four here. I can't put seven here. Eight here. I think is going to break because there's an eight here. If I put an eight here, the eight here means there's no eight here. This becomes three, four, five, nine, which means this becomes four, five, six, seven. And there's a four in here. There's a four in here. There's no four around here. I can't put an eight in here. This is five, six or nine. Does nine work? I think it will because there's no nine in these quads. Yeah, I could put a nine here and a, yeah, th there can be a nine. That's no problem. So that's interesting. That's down to three digits. So can I do the same down here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it can't be, I was about to say one and two, but that's wrong. It can't be three and four because of these quads and it can't be six or seven. So can I make those two work? But there's only three digits in these. So I don't think I can, because there's a free digit in these that I can use to populate those. Okay, what about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Happy to do it. Three and four comes out because of the rows. And eight and nine comes out. So this is one, two, five, six, seven. So let's look at this because I do have four in each of those. So let's look at those two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, three and four comes out by default. Now, if I put a one in here, because of this, this becomes 2589, this becomes 2567, and there's no 2 here. There is no 1 here. If I put a 2 here, because of this, this becomes 1567, this becomes 1589, and there's no 1 here. There's no 2 here. 5 is fine, because there's no 5 around these quads, so I could easily put 5 here. 6 here with 6 here would mean this is 1257, we should make this 2589, and there's no 2 here. I cannot put 6 here. I think 7 is going to be okay, because if I put 7 here, this becomes 1256. This becomes, because of the 2 here, this becomes 1... Hang on. If I put 7 here, this becomes 1256. This becomes 1589, and that's broken. This can't be a 7? Seven. Wait, why was that different? If 7 here... No, 7 here doesn't make this 1256, because that doesn't do that at all. So I was thinking, why did that do... I wasn't using it quite correctly. 7 here doesn't make this 1256. In fact... 
there must be a seven here. Holy cow, there must be a seven here. I can't put a seven in there. I can't put a seven in there. I can't put a seven in there. And I can only put one seven in there. There must be a seven in here. There is a seven here. Eight. Eight's the same. I must put an eight in here. I can't put an eight in here. I can't put an eight in here because of the eight, nine. So these eight, nine quads. So the eight in these eight, nine quads force and the fact that there's no eight in those quads forces there to be an eight in here. That's insane. So there must be an eight here because I can't put an eight here. I can't put an eight here. I can't put an eight here and I can only put one eight here. This is a seven, eight pair. That's gorgeous. Did I miss that up here? Six. Can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there. And I can only put one in there. There must be a six in here. There's no... Nine here, there's no nine here, there's no nine here, and I can only put one nine here. This is a six nine pair. So these are one, two, three, four, five. Does that do anything? Well, wait a minute. There must now be a nine in this cage. Because I can't put one. So there is a nine in this cage. Uh, what? A, oh, this is tricky. Oh, my keyboard cables have messed up. Um, there must be a nine in this cage. And there must be a seven in this cage. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that's forced. And there must be an eight in this cage. There must be a five in each cage because I can't put a five here. I can't put a five here and I can't put a five here. Each cage contains a five. There must be a six in this cage. So this cage. So this is a three and a four or a four with five, six, seven. This is a three or a four with five, eight, nine. This is crazy. But there's a seven here. There must be a seven in this cage because the second seven in these rows must go in here. There must be a nine in here. There must be an eight in here. Each cage must contain a five. So the five and the eight and the nine must go in those. The five, and this, there's a six here. There's no six here, no six here, no six here. There is a six in here. Okay. So now I've got five, eight, nine in these. So now these are restricted. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But there's an five, eight, nine in those and six, seven. So these can't be five, six, seven, eight, nine. They can be one, two, three, four. Can I narrow it down from that? No, not that I can see. And these five, six, seven, Eight, nine, same, one, two, three, four. So this cell sees one, two, three, four in the row and six, seven, eight, nine in the crop. That's a five. So I can take five out of all of those. And now I can use the rectangle trick. 
Because each of these cages needs to have a five, which cannot be in these cells. So what happens if I make that a five? Well, that becomes a five because I can't put it in the top row anymore, which makes that a five. And now I can't put a five in to the, the bottom left because these two both see it. Same, if I make that one a five, that becomes a five and that becomes a five and I can't put one here. If I make that a five, then that becomes a five and that becomes a five and I can't put one in the top two. You can never put fives in these in the corner ones either. So the fives are going to exist in those yellow squares. That's genius. That is absolute genius. I've never seen quads used like that before. So that means that the extra digits in these are low digits. Because I don't have a spare six, seven, eight, or nine, or five. So the digit that goes in here with the two, six, or two, six, seven is going to be a one, two, three, or four. And the same up here. There's going to be a one, two, three, or four with the six or seven up here. So these are one, two, three, four, six, seven. And these are one, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay. Need to knuckle up and down and find something new. That was beautiful. Okay, this eight cage does have something about it because it's either one, whoops, right mode, one, two, five, or one, three, four. Now, this can't be a two because the two's in here, not there, but the two's in those looking up saying that can't be a two. That's not much, is it? This 10 cage? Well, 10 cage has a lot of possibilities. 10 cage, one, two, seven. Because if I use a one, I need another nine, but I can't use one, eight. So it's one, two, seven, one, three, six, or one, four, five. If I don't use a one, it's two, three, five, because two, three, four is nine. I need to add one to one of those digits. If I add to the two or three, I end up with duplication. So it's two, three, five. But all of that seems possible. I know five is in these cells. Well, I can't put five here or here. That's interesting because of these fives. Five could never go in these. So if this is one, two, five, that's the five. And these are the one, two. This 19 cage, 19 in four cells where I can't use one and three. It must have a two in it. Because if I don't use a two in that cage, it becomes four, five, six, seven. Minimum. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I don't use a two in it, because I can't use a one and a three because of these quads, it becomes four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven is 22. And I know that because four, five, and six is 15, and I can add seven to 15. And 22 is higher than 19. So there is a two in this cage. And then I need three digits that sum. Three digits that sum to, to 16 that don't use a one or a three. Well, that's going to be four, five, seven, isn't it? I'm tempted to use the killer calculator. I've got. 4, 5, 6 is 15, but I need to sum to 17. 
So the options I would have is to increase the six by two. So what I'm doing is I'm using this as a notepad. Okay, so I know four, five, six is 15, but I'm aiming for 17. So I could make four, five and increase the six by two and make it four, five, eight. And I think that would be an option. Or I could increase the five and the six by one each and make it four, six, seven. So what I'm aiming for is two, four, five, eight or two, four, six, seven. I think they're the only options I have for that cage because I can't use a one or a three. Now, if either way, there's a four in this cage. So the four around this quadruple is there, which means that's not a four. The four and the four line up, meaning there's no four in those. So there's four in this cage and the four on this quadruple line up, meaning there's no four here. Because if I put a four here, the four would go here and there's no four for this quad. So there's no four in here. Remember, this is a note about what this cage can be. Now, if this is two, four, five, eight, the eights would line up This wouldn't be an eight. But the six, seven might be more interesting because this is a four, six, seven. Hang on, if this is two, four, six, seven, this is broken. Because two, four, six, seven would mean the four, the six, and the seven around this quadruple would all have to go into those cells. At least one of four, six, seven has to go into those cells. But if this is two, four, six, seven, that doesn't work. The four, the six, and the seven would all have to go into those cells. That doesn't work. This can't be two, four, six, seven. This is two, four, five, eight. And I found the makeup of that cage. That is great. Which means there's no four or eight here. This is a three, nine. This is a... Th Sven, I really wish it was possible to change the color of your pencil mark. So I could turn around and say, these pencil marks in green are pencil marks for a cage and my normal pencil marks in blue are pencil marks for boxes. When you're getting onto really hard puzzles, because I keep forgetting that these are pencil marks for different things. Now, But the two here means that the two around this quadruple is down here. So the two around this quadruple is now up here, and this isn't a two. This is a one or a three. These are one, three, five. So, hang on, these are one. So if this is one, two, five, that's a two. So this is restricted now. This cell is restricted because if this is one, two, five, this is a two. If it's one, three, four, this is a three. This is a one. This is only a two or a four. If this was a one, these would be three and five and one, three, five does not sum to eight. If this was a three, then this would, these would be one and five and one, three, five does not sum to eight. So this is only a two or a four. So it's not a one. And I can't put a one here. Because if I put a one here, well, the one in this box is now up here. So the one around this quadruple is down here. Which means the one around this quadruple is up here. In fact, I know these are one, three, seven. And these are two, three, seven. I don't know that that helped me much. What did help me is six and nine are in these cells. In fact, six is in one of those two, which is good for the quadruple, but nine is in one of those three, which means this isn't a nine 
and these are not nine, which means nine is in one of those two, which means these are not nine. That six does not see this in any... But the six looks down seeing this, and six is in one of those. This puzzle is nuts! I loved how this was so restricted by these quadruples, by the way. So these three quadruples and that forced that to be two, four, five, eight. I thought that was brilliant. I imagine that would have was the first place I was supposed to look. But the overlapping quads is a trick that I've come to look at in a puzzle. And I've never seen overlapping quads used that way before. Eight, oh no, eight is in this row is in one of those three. Eight in this row is in one of those four. Eight in column ones and two. It can't go in those, but it could go down here, but not in those. Well, we know that these are six, seven, eight, nine. Do I want to mark that? This is getting way over pencil marky. And these are just one, two, three, four. When I get to quads and quad puzzles, I tend to want to mark them. Where's the nine in row four? Can't put it there because of the one, two, four, eight. Can't put it there. Can't put it there and can't put it there. That's the nine. That's the six. That nine takes nine out of there. The nine in this cage now is here. Which means that's not a five. So the five is here, 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 and here. And those are the fives and I can get rid of my coloring. So these are not fives. Sorry, I, I, I'm definitely feeling like I'm floundering a little on this one, but I'm trying to see what's going on. The nine here puts nine in one of those two. Nine in row three now. Can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go in those. That's the nine. Which means there's no nine up here. Did that do anything? The four looking down here says that's not a four.
one, two, five, or one, three, four? One, three with four, or one, two, five. That's all fine. I think. I feel I'm missing something obvious. Right, these fours take four out of here and here. This six takes six out of those two. This is now a one, three, seven triple. So that's a four, that's a two. This being a two means this is a one, two, five cage. This is the one, this is the five. There's no one here. The five takes five out of those. The one looks down taking one out of those and out of those. The four takes four out of here. These are now one, well, there's no two there. These are one, four, eight. This is a one, four, because I can't put a one or a four there. This is a one, four. This is an eight taking eight out of there. The one four takes four out of there. there. Oh, I've already got the four in the cage. I should have used the cage to do that. The two is now in one of those two. I'm not yet ready to pencil mark across boxes unless it's in a cage. The four, however, is in one of those two. Because the one four here makes that the four. So this is two, three, nine, and this is two, three, four. That I'm prepared to do, except there's no two there. So this is three, nine and three, four. So the four in this, right, the four here means the four is in here and this isn't the four. And now the four has to be down here because the four in this box is lining up with the four around this quadruple, which can't be down here. So the four is down here and this is two, four, six, seven. So this is two, four, seven, and this is two, six, seven. losing this I have completely lost the plot this probably my over pencil marking is my doom here Two is in one of those. Because I the two here is lining up with the two here, and I can't put two in any of those. So two is in one of those. So there's no two here. What are these? They can't they can't be one, they can't be two. Three can't be four, can't be five, three, six, seven. So these are three, six, seven. And must contain a six. No, I've... Mm. My over-pencil marking is my doom. There's no four here. 
because of the four here. This is a three eight pair, which takes three out of here, making this a two seven, which takes seven out of here, making this a one three, which takes three out of here, making this a six seven, which takes seven out of there, making those a two four, taking two out of here, because I have to, if this is two four, I still have to put six seven around this quad, taking two out of here, making this a six seven. And that 6, 7 makes that an 8 and that a 7. That takes 8 out of here, but there had to be an 8 in this cage. Because I can't put 8 here, I can't put 8 here, and I can't put 8 here. This is an 8, which makes this a 3 and this an 8. There's no 3 here. This 1, 3 makes that the 7, which makes that the 6. That takes 7 out of there. There's no 7 here either. Where is 7 in this row? Because I'm trying to remember now where's, how many rows need 7s and everything. I can't put 7 in those because this is 1, 3, 4, 6. Sorry. Can't put 7 here because this is 1, 3, 4, 6. Can't put 7 in any of those. That is a 7. 3 comes out of both of those. 6 comes out of here. But I have to have 6 in this cage? There's no 6. Where's 6 in this? No. I need to put two sixes into here. I could put one here, none here, none. Here. Yeah, this has to be a six, otherwise I'm not getting it. If this is a two and this is a one, I've got to put two sixes around here to complete the row tally. That doesn't work. That is a six. And I'm, I'm not sure about one. But there is a six down here. So these are 1, 3, 4, and these are 1, 3, 6. The 2, 4 makes that the 1. There is no 1 here. This is a 3, 6, which takes 3 out of here. This is a 1, 4, which makes that the 2, which makes that the 1, which makes that the 4. The 1 makes that the 3 which I could have got from the column, but I didn't. The three six looks across making that the four and that the two, taking two out of there, this becomes a three nine, which takes nine out of those. The three nine makes that the two. There must be a nine in here. The one looks down saying the one must be in here, so there's no one here. So the one in this column is now there, These are 3, 8, and 9. Well, that's unhelpful for this, the, this quad, at least, because these are 3, 8, and 9. There's no 8 there. 8 is in one of those two. So 8 is in one of those two. Okay. I know what these two are. Two, four. These are two and four to complete the column. So this is the three. Three comes out of here. This becomes one, three, which takes three out of there, making that eight, nine, making that three, which takes three out of here, making that eight, nine. And these quads are all fulfilled now, down to pairs at least. This puzzle is beautiful. So this is a triple. Two six seven. So that's a two six seven triple with the two being there. There's no two there. That's a four and that's a two. That takes four out of those. The two looks up saying that's not the two. That's the two. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did that wrong. Okay, so let's try that again. Six, seven, and nine which puts nine in one of those two and takes nine out of there using the six, seven, nine, which means that's the eight and that's the nine, which takes eight out of those. It's very easy to get this wrong. The two, four, five now puts five in one of those two, which I had from the five anyway. Okay, so less advantageous for moving forward, but at least this time I got it right. The six, seven pair makes that the nine and that is not the nine. The nine looks down making that the three and that the nine. The four looks up making that the one and that the four. So this is a pair. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a one, five pair. So these one, two, three, four, five, six. So the three, six looks up making that the seven and that the six. This is the eight. This is the seven. So the seven and the eight come out of those. This is a six, nine pair. Oh, 10 cage. If this is a six, these would have to sum to four, which would either be two, two or four, zero, which doesn't work. That's a three. That's a six. These have to sum to seven now, which can't be four, three. So it's two and five. The three looks up making that the one and that the three. The one looks down making that the four and that the one. The two looks across making that the four and that the two. The four, no, the five, yes, making that the one and that the five. The one looks back and making that the three and that the one. The three makes that the six and that the three. The six makes that the seven and that the six. The two makes that the four. These are seven, eight, nine. The seven means that's not the seven. The six looks up making that the nine and that the six. The nine looks down taking nine out of those. So we get eight, seven, and nine. The eight looks across making that the nine and that the eight. The seven looks up making that the two and that the seven. These don't have, well, what are they now? One, two, three, four, five. These are four and five. So that's the four and that's the five. So this is the two, this is the eight. The two well, let's use the seven to make that the six and that the seven and the two to make that the four and that the two. 39 minutes and 30 seconds. That puzzle is amazing. And I didn't use the hint. Actually, I didn't need the hint. The hint said that you would, that this puzzle might need set. And I didn't need set. Interesting. What set? At no point was I stuck enough to be looking for sets. So set, which is set equivalent theory. Anyone who's this far through, I'm assuming knows what set is, which is where you're trying to look for two sets of one to nine, which are equivalent, and then trying to figure out what those equivalencies give you. I'm not sure what set you could use. So if I duplicate this grid and reset, maybe if I was to include these quads in one set, because I could do this. So those could be two equivalent sets. I remove the overlapping cells because if you remove the same digit from two sets, then they're the same. Then this has got the quads in. And I know yellow contains three ones once you've found these digits to be pairs, maybe. Because I found these to be, what were they? Six, nine, and seven, eight. So even if I know that these are six, seven, eight, nine, even if I didn't know that these were, so if I take the seven, eight out of there and the six, nine out of there. Now I got those to be pairs. Now, if you get those and get stuck, then you know exactly what the makeup of yellow is. Because yellow has three ones, three twos, three threes, three fours, 
zero fives. So you can never put a five into blue. Two sixes, two sevens, two eights, and two nines. I think this is a more complex way of finding the same thing. Because you could never put a... Maybe that will allow you to find those digits, a one, two, three, four. But I think it's more actually elegant to find it out that these are virtual quads that have to contain the five, six, whatever it was, five, six, eight, or five, whatever it were. I think that was actually more elegant which forced these to be one, two, three, four, because I think I may be able to prove that these are one, two, three, four in that regard. Because with these, I can't put five into blue. And I've already got the counts of six. So I'm, I've only got two sixes, two sevens, two eights, and two nines to put into blue. And I've already got my two sixes, my two sevens, my two eights, and my two nines. So these are one, two, three, four. That's an that's another way of finding that these are one, two, three, four. And I think that's all it gives me. Maybe there's another set. But I think doing it through the quadruple method was really nice. And I've never seen quads used that way before. Beautiful. I loved this puzzle. This was absolutely stunning. Thank you, Jeremy Dover. That was absolutely beautiful. And... I hope people love this as much as I do. I know I say that a lot, but wow, this one blew my mind. I have solved hundreds of quadruple puzzles, and this one made me look at quads in a way I've never seen before. Thank you, Jeremy Dover. Thank you, everyone who has been enjoying the puzzle pack, or I hope enjoying the puzzle pack. Um, yeah, and as always, good luck with your solving.